Game 7, New York Rangers versus the Carolina Hurricanes. Winner takes all. Who do you got? Your Locked On Fantasy Hockey. Your daily podcast on fantasy hockey. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network. Your team every day. Welcome back to the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast. I am your host, Steel Roden. Unfortunately, my co-host, Flip Livingstone, will not be able to make it for today's episode, uh, And but the show must go on. So I am here. We are still rolling. And I got to let you know, today's episode is brought to you by Bet Bet BetOnline has you covered this season with more props, odds, and lines than ever before. Bet Online, where the game starts. Welcome back to the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast. A lot to talk about. Uh, New York Rangers versus Carolina Hurricanes Game 7 tonight, Monday night. A big, big game on the line uh, trying to get to the Eastern Conference Finals against the Tampa Bay Lightning, who already await the team, the victor from this game. Uh, the Hurricanes can also make history in this game. We finally get to see Connor McDavid versus Nathan McKinnon in the Western Conference Finals as well. Uh, big series. Everyone's waiting for that. But I think we have to start with the Game 7 of the New York Rangers versus the Carolina Hurricanes. A lot on the line, obviously. The Tampa Bay, uh, Tampa Bay Lightning already waiting for the victor of this series. And look, I've had the New York Rangers the entire time. I've said this. I, I, I believe from the beginning they had a really good shot at making a deep playoff run, and they've proven why they're that why they're a very upcoming team right now and a team to look out for for the next many many years. Um, they have a lot of young talent. They made a, the right moves at the trade deadline. They're getting scoring from their top guys in Mika Zibanejad and Artemi Panarin. Uh, you know, so those guys are rolling on all cylinders as well. Game seven in Carolina, with the way things have trended so far, Carolina has not lost a game at home, but they also haven't won a game on the road yet. Um, that first series against the Boston Bruins, they won all four games at home, lost all three on this, uh, on the road, uh, and it's been the exact same way against the New York Rangers in the second round so far. So with you know the way things have been trending so far for the Carolina Hurricanes, that might be the team to look out for, but I am riding with the New York Rangers. I can't ditch them right now. I think they do have all the momentum, a huge win uh, in game six, 5-2 victory. Uh, things, again, starting to, get heated, uh, started, starting to get heated towards the end of the game. So game seven, a lot on the line. Everybody at the on the edge of their seat. Uh, I know I'm going to be tuning in for this game. So this is a big game on the line for the Eastern Conference. Uh, Tampa, Bay Light, Tampa Bay Lightning already waiting for the team. Uh moving forward and and the Carolina Hurricanes can make history Monday night if they are to win this game seven they can be the first team in NHL history to win seven consecutive game sevens ever in the entire NHL history uh it just seems like they it just seems like game sevens uh are made for the Carolina Hurricanes so with also that being said that could also you know make your decision lean towards the Carolina Hurricanes. But for me, I, I got to stick out and ride with the New York Rangers to end the season. Uh, I, I believe they can win this game. Uh, they've proven that they can they can win games on the road, as we saw in the first round series, as they were down 3-1 to one against the Pittsburgh Penguins. This team can come back, and they can win on the road, and they can win in, in big fashion. So we've seen them come back, come back from behind in this series. We've seen them come back three games in a row, five, six, and seven against the Pittsburgh Penguins, trailing in the game and still coming back to win. We know this team is never, ever out of a series or a game. So a lot on the line, like I said, but I've got the New York Rangers winning this game, uh, and, and that's the team I'm going with for game seven uh, for the Carolina Hurricanes versus New York Rangers. But let's jump over to the Western Conference Finals. That is finalized right now. Edmonton Oilers taking on the Colorado Avalanche. I think this is a series that everyone has been dying to watch. You know, I think 
for the most part, everyone was super happy that we got the Florida ba- uh, the, the Battle of Florida. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't much to live up for as the Lightning swept the Panthers. But on the other side, we also got the Battle of Alberta again. So everyone was very thankful to be able to watch a series like that. Uh, Would have loved for it to go seven games because the hockey was just absolutely fantastic. But we now have Nathan McKinnon versus Connor McDavid two of the most elite forwards and players in the game right now. And I'm super excited to watch this series. Um, Obviously, when you look at the stats so far in the playoffs, everything is a little bit lopsided in the Edmonton Oilers' favor. Uh, um, Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisaitl leading the playoffs as well as their team with 26 points, seven goals, uh, each of them with 19 assists. Absolutely fire. Dry Seidel, a plus seven. McDavid, a plus 19. So these guys are carrying the team right now. But they're also getting um, a lot of great play from Mike Smith. So I got to give a shout out and kudos to him because he has played great. He has had his Mike Smith moments. You know, obviously that 132-foot goal from Rasmus Anderson. Um, They still ended up winning the game. But nonetheless, he he still had or is having his Mike Smith moments, uh, coughing up the puck behind the net. Uh, we know that he's a, uh, he's a, he likes to get involved in the plays. He likes to move the puck around. Uh, one of the best goalies uh, in the game that is able to move the puck uh, with his players on the ice. So, look, he's played phenomenal. He's played pretty great. 927 save percentage with a 2.70 goals against average. So, Nothing too much to complain about. On the other hand, Darcy Kemper has not been great, but this is the McDavid versus McKinnon show. And even though McKinnon uh, only has 13 points uh, in the playoffs so far this year, look, when you're when you're Connor McDavid, you can do things that a lot of people can't do. And just look at the way his team and his teammates are shaping him as well. Like You have Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl, 26 points. Third on the list, Evander Kane with 15, and then it just drops on from there. You look over to the Colorado Avalanche. McKinnon, McCarr, Landeskog, Ranton, and Kadri all got 10 points uh, or or more. And then even Devin Taves, uh, Nachushkin, seven points, eight points, respectively. So this is going to be a great series to watch. Uh, keep, an eye on, uh, keep an eye out for this series uh, Tuesday, starting Tuesday night right after game seven of the New York Rangers versus Carolina Hurricanes. I can't express enough how great this series is going to be. And I'm going to be placing a ton of bets on this series, but where you should be placing those bets are betonline.net. Our partners at Bet Bet Online continue to be the number one source for all your betting needs and sports info. Find all the latest odds, news, sports developments, including this year's NBA playoffs, Major League Baseball scores, fights, and even next season, next season's NFL futures. Bet Online is your continued source for all your sport wagering information from live betting to the playoffs to esports and many, many more. So head to the website today or use your mobile device to learn more about the trends and actions. Bet Online, where the game starts. Thank you for making the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast your first listen every day. Don't forget, we are free and available wherever you get your podcast, which also includes YouTube. So if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button, hit the follow button. Once you do, you'll get the latest episodes. And I appreciate all the love and support out there. And thank you so much because we just got to 100 subscribers on YouTube. So thank you so much for tuning in and subscribing to the show. Uh, please continue to do so if you haven't hit yet hit the subscribe button. It means the world to uh, means the world to me and Flip. If you were here, he would say the same thing. So it means the world to us. And thank you so much for tuning in to this episode. Um, let's jump right over to the DFS selections for this for this game Monday night, Game 7, New York Rangers versus Carolina Hurricanes. And like I have said the last three and a half weeks since the playoffs started, I've got the New York Rangers making a deep playoff run, and I have the New York Rangers winning this game. So I am going with majority of my DFS selections from the New York Rangers or Temi Panarin. Meek is a Benajad, a huge night uh, in game six against the Carolina Hurricanes. Big goals, big plays, 5-2 win, tie up the series, go back to Carolina for a game seven. 
they showed up when they really, really needed it. And they needed it, obviously, this game most because it was a do-or-die situation. But Mika Zabinijad, uh, big goal from him. Panarin, big goal in the third period on the power play. Philip Hedl had two goals. Adam Fox doing what he does uh, best and setting up his line mates. So obviously going with guys like Artemi Panarin, Mika Zabinijad, uh, Adam Fox, Jacob Truba on the back end. These guys are all going to be expensive, so you really have to manage your money and manage your budget right. Uh, but you're also going to have to look to the Hurricanes uh, and the, the Rangers bottom six depth forwards. Find some, you know, find some decent prices out there for a Jesper Kokkinenemi, uh, Alexi Lafreniere, or even a Ryan Reeves at this point. Guys who can make a difference in the game, whether it's not just on the scoreboard, but guys who can be a difference maker and change the game in their favor. I'm looking towards the Rangers. I got to continue riding with them. It would just, it would just, it would break my heart if they lost this game. I've, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the Rangers. I'm not trying to jump on, you know, jump on the wagon here, but I've been a huge fan of the Rangers the last couple of years. I thought they had a good chance making it last year. They finally do it this year. I have the Carolina Hurricanes finally losing their first game at home and the Rangers winning this series. And that just, you know, that just transitions right over to big time bets. That is my lock of the night. The Rangers on the money line versus the Carolina Hurricanes for game seven. Everything would, you know, start leaning me and change my mind towards the Carolina Hurricanes because they haven't lost a game at home yet this season. But look, the Rangers played really great in games one and two on the road, a 2-1 loss and 2 nothing loss. And then I just think every single time they've been on the road so far, they've played a pretty, pretty great game against Carolina. Uh, and you're really going to need to get your best out of all of your guys, especially Igor Shesterkin, uh, you know, with the Carolina Hurricanes not losing at home so far this year. But that is my lock of the night. Rangers on the money line against the Carolina Hurricanes. Pencil it in. Lock it in. Put your money down. I'm sprinkling some dough on this game. I'm really, really, really excited to watch this game seven. Excited for the remainder of the playoffs. A ton of content to still come out uh, with the last two weeks of the Stanley Cup playoffs continuing. Thank you so much for making the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast your first listen every day. For your second listen, though, you have to check out the Locked On, Locked On NHL from first round matchups to each Stanley Cup kiss. Locked on NHL covers the playoffs like no other. Hear the latest news and opinions from local experts every Monday through Friday. It's free and available wherever you get your podcasts, just like this podcast right here. So if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe, hit the follow button. Once you do, you'll get the latest episodes of the Locked on Fantasy Hockey Podcast as soon as they're available each and every day, Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock in the morning Eastern time. And thank you so much for tuning in for today's episode with myself, Steel Roden. Have a great day. Good luck with all your bets out there. And we shall see you back here again tomorrow.